you don't know what this job's like. You don't know. No. On today's episode, we discuss the movie today's. Spree, starring Joe Keery and Shasir Zamata. He's Jay. I am. I'm Alan. That's Ben. Three bros with three opinions. All about movies. Just like, subscribe, check us out on Instagram and Twitter. Now, right now, do it. Do it. Let's go. Okay, so we all just watched the trailer for Spree a couple weeks ago, and we all thought this trailer yeah. looked great. We thought that it looked creepy. We well, thought it looked like original. We thought it was going to be something spectacular. But then we watched the movie. But it wasn't. Yeah, so what, what, what was the movie about? So, I mean, I'm going to give you a real quick synopsis. That's what okay. I like. Joe Keery plays a, uh, a spree driver where he picks up people AKA and Uber. he kills them. Yeah. And basically, he live streams the entire thing on his channel, which he gets no views on, but he's trying to become a social media influencer. And throughout the movie, he picks up views because he, he kills more and more people. Right. I mean, and, and that's literally the entire movie. Yeah, that's truly what it that, is. That, that's that's as quick as I can make. Yeah, now, I like that. There was there was a couple things I didn't like. There was a couple things I did like. Yeah, I didn't like the way the movie was shot. I didn't like that it was uh, camera angles like left and right and like gas station cameras and like sometimes that works. I feel like for this movie it was kind of awkward for me. I get why they did it. I also didn't like that it was uh, it was split screen sometimes with the uh, the vertical phone um, camera. Yeah, and, and I, I didn't get, like that either. I get why they tried that. They were trying to make it as if this was literally on social media. I get right. why they, they did tried it. to make it as you're the follower and you're and that's you're, just you're how you're watching. watching it. It. That's why I like. A, I get as, it. I just didn't like it. But as a moviegoer, it's awkward. Yeah, it's, it's awkward, awkward. But I think it's the way it had to be. In yeah. my opinion, I'm like, all right, if you're if you're the viewer, if you're the follower, this is exactly how you would see it. No, I mean, you're right. I, I usually just, am, but I didn't. <laughs> but it didn't. It didn't hit home for me. Okay, That's well, all I'm yeah. saying. So did, did well, you sometimes uh, you're just wrong. I, I think I think well. they could have I, I agree with Alan a little bit, but I also agree with Jay. I think that it could have they could have fit a little bit more into there with the cinematic experience and then added those little pieces in. But it was sporad like sporadically, but they 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 jammed that in there so much that it did feel a little disjointed and a little awkward. Yeah, and and I mean uh you said this off camera. Also, I didn't like how the story kind of jumped around and you didn't you didn't get yeah. how like Joe got to certain places. Yeah. Like you, you were talking about when, when he got in the accident. Yeah. He, he, he's running from the police. He's like on the wrong side of the road. He comes off into some like homeless camp. He flips his car and he's like going to, he was on his way, I guess, to this comedy, the comedy show. show. And all of a sudden See, he flips Jesse his car, Adams. he wrecks his car, it rolls over. And then all of a sudden he's at the comedy show. And you're like, but he's being yeah. chased well, by the police. Right. And, and you're like, like well, how did that happen? Right. I need to see a little more of, okay, he rolls his car, at least show him getting out and running or something. But all yeah. of a sudden, he's just like hanging out at the comedy show and I'm like... It's like he teleported. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. okay. So I understand like some points are like the director or whoever wrote it is like, well, we want to go from here to here and we don't know how to do it. So instead of like trying to figure a way out, they just did it. Yeah. Ah, he's just automatically here now. Right. Yeah. I'm like, well, so, where, where so that the come editing, from? The editing and stuff could have been a little better. It right. could have been a little better. Now, granted, this was a low budget movie. Very low. But... I yeah. still think it was eighty four dollars. I think it was <laughs> for the cameras. That's all they really needed. Yeah. Yeah. Pre, five cameras, pre tax too. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so I, I think they could have done still, eBay. still a little better, a little better job of, with the editing. True, but with all that said, Joe Curry's performance in this was he's very great. good. Great, he played a very, very convincing good. psycho. And you yeah. said something off camera. I thought was outrageous, and, and I I stand by it. I stand we'll say it on it. camera. Say so it. I'm going to say it. Christian Bale, American Psycho, Joe Keery could play that role. I like to dissect girls. Did you know I'm utterly insane? Based on his performance in this. Mm -mm. Based ooh, on his ooh. performance in this, he could be right up there with Christian ooh, Bale. I got a modern day. Question American for Psycho. you. Question for you. If they remade The Shining, oh, he could. Could he? Ooh. Could he play that? Especially with the longer hair and stuff. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit different character because it's a the shining is a little more psychotic than yeah. this. This is more, more low, sadistic. This is more low key psychotic. That's more full blown psychotic. Yeah. But based on his performance in this, yeah, he could pull it off. Yeah. What color business cards does he have? Eggshell oh, white. Oh, bro. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. What I, What I really liked about it though is just he he um there was no victim that was too close oh. to him that 
Oh, he didn't care. He didn't care. I he did like he killed that. his mom. He killed his dad. He killed his everyone's the fair kid game. he babysitted. The kid he like he basically grew up with. And but, but he also I don't anybody like that kid. there was yeah there was nobody who was off nobody limits. Safe. Yeah. Nobody was safe. Nobody was safe. Nobody safe. It was pretty yeah. much if you got in the way of his views or his following that he thought he had, yeah. like he was going to limit you because that 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 three thought he had to do. But to kind but of even when he did it, he really didn't do it with any anger or malice. No, he just did no, it he because did. he just no emotion. Just you're. You're in the way. You're right. gone. And that's why yeah. his performance in this was so compelling because you you just went with him along this journey and you were just like, wow, this this guy's nuts. Yeah. Now, but I, I, you kind of rooted for him while he did it. Yeah, it was weird. <sighs> well, you it kind of It was weird because the, the, his victims, you didn't really like either. Well, so no. the, the, victims, the victims were all... Were all I would say bad guys as well to a certain degree. They were innocent people, but they weren't very, very likable people. Okay, perfect. Yeah. They weren't likable. Ah, exactly. You just say it right. Yeah. yeah. Each wow. person, each Sometimes. person that got into the spree had major flaws right. that anyone, anyone that was a sensible person would sit there and be like, yeah, you're not a good guy. Yeah. You're not a good guy. So not when, someone Joe, hang out when with. Joe decides to give you the ax, not going to really miss yeah. you. Not going to miss you. All about the ax. Not going to miss you. you know, the and that's yeah. why you kind of rooted for him when he did. Yeah. And you kind of rooted for him because his performance was so convincing. You felt really bad for him. You felt like, oh man, I feel bad for this kid. I wish yeah. he did get some views because he kind of is oh, a good guy. Like, if you he watched just any of his dumb videos before, maybe he wouldn't have to resort to this. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he was, he was he out does, there. He does take a turn in the movie where, like, I think with the first like twenty minutes, he I think he kills like three people and he and he still gets no views. And then wish they to, wish they showed how that happened. By yes. the way, and I, I wish they they would too as well because they they see kind of like you see him drugged and then it's they're just of, gone. It kind of goes down to the next ride. Yeah. I'm like, well, what happened to the body? Like, well, did he yeah. did he yeah. go in like a ditch somewhere? Did he kind of go to his house? But then he goes to his friend's Bobby's house, and he's like, he wants his advice. And this is where the altercation happens, where Bobby kind of calls him a loser on his stream, and then he pretty much kills kills Bobby. Yeah, and yeah. then he kind of takes and, his and followers. Bobby, he Bobby links- is his Bobby is his idol because Bobby is a young kid who has a huge following, but also. He used to babysit Bobby when he was yeah. younger. So kind of right. like Bobby was like was almost like his little him, brother, he, almost. But then he kind of like surpassed them and he like all, all all Joe ever wanted was a following. He had everything that Joe wanted. Exactly. Yeah. He idolized him, right? Yeah. Right. And that's where it took a turn when Jesse, the comedian, came in. Yep. And Jesse's played by Sh- Sashir. Sashir. Sashir Sashir Zamata. Zamata. And she did a good job. She did a good she job. Wrote. And and I, I wouldn't put her right up there with Joe's performance, but she did a good job. And she played the comedian. And she already had a social following, and Joe kind of well, he didn't care about her until he learned out until that he learned that she had a social following, exactly. and then he kind of wanted to, you know, follow her around by her coattails to learn yeah. from her. He even but says she like, blew him. He off. even said, well, he even he, said, "I'm glad you didn't drink that water bottle because he would have killed her without even knowing without, who, without she know who she was." And he even yeah. says, "Like follow or follow, like put me on your stream." And it's yeah. like he's so, so desperate followers. It's, yeah, so so the movie was good, and he played a great though. he. He played a great role, but there were a couple things that went wrong for me. And the biggest thing for me was the flow of the movie was interrupted numerous times because they tried to put a lot of current event political messages in it, which mm. which it's OK. Like, don't get me wrong. Politics in movies, no big deal if it fits the narrative of the movie. It just didn't fit here. It was awkward. It, it was just kind of thrown in there just to be kind of thrown in there. Okay. Yeah, they threw it in there just just to say it. And yeah. it, it ruined the flow of the movie. And as a movie goer, as a movie, watching a movie and experience, you want the story to go from beginning to end in a manner to where it just flows naturally. But it had these awkward interruptions where they put these political messages out. And it just it just killed the movie for me because I it, it made me distracted it, it distracted me to the point where i was like okay okay enough 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 let's get to the next part get back to killing people yeah i, I yeah. can see that i mean i can see where you watch a movie kind of to, uh to escape re- reality and this kind of didn't let you do that so right. i can see that. So that that's my only issue with the movie aside from that i liked it all right yeah. so you you want to you want to give me a quick uh quick rating so seven out of ten for the movie but a 10 for joe's performance i like ten that for, 10 for uh 10 for joey huh what do you yeah. got um, seven out of ten for me. Also, I think it would have been a lot better if um they showed what happened to the first couple people mm-hmm. that he he killed. Mm-hmm. Um, I understand that it kind of he kind of progressed as a character, and they kind of showed more and more as the movie went on. Um, so that was cool. But I wish they would have showed it right from the beginning. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. and then also this we talked about like, like splicing it together with how he got to certain places. 
would have helped. Yeah. Even they showed him to get out of the car. And yeah, they left you hanging yeah, a little bit. Th- then it would have been a lot better. But it's still strong seven out of ten. I, enjoy, right. I enjoyed it. Um, so you guys want a little high for me? I'm gonna go a five out of ten. And it's basically for all everything we discussed. But for me, it's a five. I do like Joe's performance, but I didn't like the way it was shot. I didn't like the vertical phone. I didn't like the split screen whatsoever. You didn't like the realism. Um, yeah, I guess so. It's so too realistic for, for me. For him. Yeah, for me, a five. Watch it. It's not bad, but I wouldn't. I'm. I'm never gonna rewatch it. I'll say that. Yeah, I'm probably. I mean, it's not gonna be the first thing I try to pop in again. You know, yeah, if, I mean, if I see it, maybe if it's on TV, I'll, I'd watch it again. But I'm not gonna like go out and buy it so I can rewatch it. Yeah. So, so essentially, it could have been better if they allowed Joe's performance to carry the movie without interrupting it with other stuff. Or and they, they edited, it, or if just, they edited it a little better. If the editing yeah. was better, I, I would give it a higher score. But yeah. I, I didn't yeah. like the more, way it was. more drill to the head and little, less just drinking a water bottle and passing out. Yeah, little yeah, bigger budget, little bigger budget, little yeah. better script. Great movie. All yeah. right. We're out.